Alright, hello. Right now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on our list number 8. Unit 8 has two parts. We're currently going to be working on part 1. Our first sign is call. If you tap it twice, this means phone. I call you moves from me to you. You call me moves from you to me and so forth. Phone taps twice. Fly is our next word. In addition to that, we'll learn airplane. The noun airplane has various translations. You can sign this for airplane, obviously. You can use it for flight. You can use this for airline airport, and air force. All of these are the same sign. This is what I learned for all of those signs. Airplane, airline, flight, and so forth. If you want to say the verb fly, you can fly there, you can fly here, it is one time. The sign to type, as in the verb typing, you can wiggle your fingers while you go up and down, or you can keep your fingers stationary while you move your arms. It is going to be a big movement. If you sign it smaller, this is used more for the sign keyboard. Larger means to type. Gas or gasoline. If you only do this once, this would be the verb, to put in gas, or to fill up. Motor, engine, engine, how do I spell that? E-N-G, yeah, engine. Motor, engine, and machine. These are all the same sign. I'm going to interlock your fingers and go up and down. Next, if your engine is no good, it will break down. Break down. This can also mean for a building to collapse. You need to use the math morphine bump, right? P O H P. Next is battery, electricity, or power. I'm going to have two X hands and tap your knuckles together two times. If you do this once, this can be used, for example, to charge a phone. I need to charge my phone. You would sign it once. Interesting fact, the sign battery is also the same sign for the capital of Belgium. So the capital of Belgium is Brussels. I think I spelled it right. I'm a bad speller, you know that. Sorry about that. But the capital of Belgium is Brussels, and it is the same sign as battery, electricity, or power. For a flat tire, your non-dominant hand can be palm up or palm down, doesn't matter. Use that mouth morphine. If you only go down partially and use the alum mouth morphine, A-L-U-M, this means to deplete or run low on something. If you go all the way down with the puff cheeks mouth morpheme, this would be flat tire. This next sign, this is used more for different types of machines in which they would break down or shut down. It can also mean to blow out, as in my headlights. I'm driving and my headlight blew out. Not blow out as in like blow out a candle, but like a circuit has blown out. If you mouth off when you do that, that means it was my purpose, my goal to turn something off. But if I puff my cheeks when I do it, that means it was unintentional. Fall, ap fall apart or worn out or to wear out. You can use this for emotional worn out, 
right? I'm exhausted. I'm completely worn out. It's A's to fives. Generally, the next sign, break or snap, is signed with two S's. Break it in half, just like you normally would. Break. I broke my arm. I broke the fence. I broke my bed. Whatever. Broke. This does not mean broke as in, I have no money. Instead, you would sign it this way, with the open B on the neck. Maybe, might, may, perhaps, all the same sign. Make sure you have a long chin. Like, eh, I might go to your party. I don't know. Succeed. Do this one time. Flip up. Succeed. If when you sign this, you mouth pa, P A H, pa. If you do that, that is the sign finally. If you do it twice up without the mouth morpheme, that can mean either success or successful. If you flip downward when you do that, that is the sign famous. So again, succeed. One time, no mouth morpheme. Finally, one time, pa mouth morpheme. Successful and success is twice up. If you do it twice down, that would be famous. Succeed, finally, successful, success, famous. They are very easy to confuse. Next on our list is the sign struggle. You're going to have two indexes, you're going to circle, and you're going to do the mouth morpheme sta sta every time you reach the bottom. Now notice how I'm signing this. I'm not going forward and I'm not moving backward. I'm circling across my body. I am circling down toward my non-dominant side. Don't go forward and don't go backward. Right? Circle across your body, struggle. Challenge or versus or play against, that sign is signed one time with your two open A's. Challenge. It can mean a challenge in a game, like a football game. This team is going against this team versus. But it can also mean this homework is very challenging. I need to challenge myself. I need to improve. I must challenge myself. You can use it this way as well. If you sign challenge twice, that would be the sign game, the noun. Kind of like a match, right? Soccer match, you would sign game. Suspect. So there's the verb, I suspect, and there's the noun, a suspect. They are pronounced differently but spelled the same. They are signed differently as well. For the verb, I suspect. Hmm, I suspect something. You're scratching your brain. Second, if someone, for example, stole something. I think he needs to be put in jail. He was arrested. He is now a suspect. You can scratch once or twice on your forehead and then sign the agent suffix. Either way, that is the person, a suspect. Next, we have the sign computer. I'm going to show you three options. Pick the one you like. Computer on the forehead, computer on the wrist, or two-handed computer with open eights. C on the forehead, C on the wrist, two-hand open eight circle. All are the sign for computer. Decline is our next word. In English, there's so many definitions for the word decline. It can mean, oh, I'm sorry, I can't come to your party. I have to decline. 
it can mean uh, my credit score on my credit card it it declines your weight is declining there are so many different ways but for this all of them are assigned differently so I will show you this if I was saying sorry I can't come to your party I decline you would say sorry decline I decline it's as if you're saying I am sorry thank you but I have an excuse I need you to excuse me decline if I wanted to say that my credit score was declining, I would sign it this way. To decline, go down. If I wanted to say my weight was declining, this decline as in going down in number. All these signs are different. They all are different English definitions. However, they are the same English word. Conflict and conflict, right? Conflict is your verb to conflict. You can sign it two ways. My plans and your plans, they conflict, right? They are not on the right path. They have two different ways they're going, so they conflict. Noun, conflict, I have a conflict this is more regarding what the conflict is. Is it a fight? Is it an argument? Is it a war? What is that conflict that you have? That noun, you can sign conflict like conflict, like a conflict of interest, that's fine. Obviously I'm not having a war with the bank, but you know what I mean. All right is our next one. All right. Two times. This is as if I'm saying, yeah, I give you permission. It's all right. Go ahead. That's fine. It's all right. It can also be a response. How are you feeling? Eh, I'm all right. If you do this one time, however, this means a legal right. My right as a citizen. It is my right to vote, my women's rights, right? It would be one time for this. Save or preserve is our next one. This is one time. Save and preserve. If you do this twice, however, this is more regarding a savings account or my savings. It can also mean preservation. Save as once, as if you were saving money. If you're saving food, storing it away. It can be used to save time. But this save, however, this is more for saving a life. Right? Someone is swimming and they start to drown, the lifeguard goes and saves that person. Right? Can you breathe? You good? All right, cool. All right, save. That is different. Measure one time. It can go in or out, either way, two Y hands. I assign it inward to measure. You can also do this more diagonally. Imagine you were measuring a television. Right? It depends on what you're measuring. If you tap this twice, this means measurement or size. Now, if you turn it, or your dominant hand's on top, palm facing out. This would be for height, if you're tapping it. Height. To measure height, though, you would do it once. To weigh the verb, man, I'm having a hard time spelling, weigh. The verb weigh is one time, like that scale, weigh. If you do it twice, this means weight or pound. So my dog weighs 40 pounds. 
busy, our next word. If you want to use the loan sign, where you write it with the pound symbol, it's busy, right? busy. If you are not using the loan sign, however, you will sign it this way, busy, B back and forth. If you tap up and down though, that's easy to confuse, that's different. That is the sign business, as in work, my business. Busy goes back and forth, business is up and down. The sign stuck, do that TH mouth morpheme, tongue out. That V on your throat, as if you had a fork stuck in your throat, stuck. The word building, the verb and the noun are the same sign. Two open Bs go up, building. You can also use the hand shape U, building. The verb and the noun is the same. Ruin or spoil, you're going to have two X hands. You're going to mouth rue. You ruined my party. All right, it's ruined. It can also mean spoiled, as in milk, for example. I open the milk, take a big old sip. Ugh, this is disgusting. It's spoiled. It's spoiled milk. Ugh, gross. Cheap. Four things. Right. Cheap. Dominant, B, brush down, palm of, open B, non-dominant. So cheap clothing means it wasn't expensive. Cheap, low cost. If you change your facial expression, you'll change the meaning. If you change it to a more negative face, you'll get more of a negative, like, ugh, this is cheap furniture, ugh. Right. Not in an inexpensive way, but not good. You can also sign it this way or this way. Ugh. Your chair is cheap. This shaking F hand can mean like nothing to it, nothing good, no big deal, right? Pfft. This is cheap. Cheap when you brush it without that negative facial expression means that you got a discount. You paid less than you expected, right? It was cheap. The opposite of cheap, expensive. You're taking your money and throwing it away. There it goes, bye. Clench your teeth. You can puff your cheeks. You can also trill your lips. You'll see some people say pensive, which is doable as well. It's up to you, use the math morpheme you like. The sign run out of, or run out, use that allum, A-L-U-M, mouth morpheme again, allum, like with deplete, run out, allum, go towards your fingertips. If you pull towards your wrist without the allum, this means earn or deserve. If you do it twice, that would be wages, salary, or earnings, income. One time, earn, deserve. If you keep doing it, if you move across your body, it's like you're collecting, like collecting donations. Right, each of these classes, they're going to be donating five cans of soup for people who are hungry. Right? And I will collect them all. That's how I would sign that. Lecture, speech, presentation. I think I spelled that right. Lecture, speech, or presentation, signed like this. Sign Earth or Planet or Geology, sorry, Geography. Use that open eight with your thumb down on your wrist, shake. Some people you will see use P for Planet. This is more of an English initialized sign. 
I sign it with this eight as if I was pinching. So how many plants do we have? That's how I would use that. How many are there? Eight or nine? What do you think? <laughs> Next is earthquake. So we have our sign earth and now you need to shake with it. Earth quake. See that shaking as if the ground is moving? Earthquake. Those vibrations. The sign destroy. I like this sign. Your dominant hand, five palm down, non-dominant, five palm up, brush across, become open A's. Fives to open A's. Destroy. Sign everything, however, you're going to start with two open A's, palms up, brush, and then come back to fives. Everything, flip it, destroy. Everything, destroy. Again, everything. Your dominant's going to be on the top, everything. Again, dominant on top, five to open A, destroy. Very easy to confuse these two. Very easy to switch them. Wind. How you sign this will give that meaning on what type of wind there is. If it's a light breeze, maybe small, do that ooh mouth morphine. It's very breezy today. If it's stronger, That means, obviously, it's strong wind. It's not light breeze. This is a strong gale force winds. Right? The worst, like hurricanes, think of the trees bending over. Heavy, heavy, heavy wind. That's when you'll get extra intense with that. The sign rain. Two bent fives. Bounce up and down. Rain. Puckered lips mean eh, it's average rain. An ooh mouth morpheme and a lighter touch, light rain. If you use an SH shh, mouth morpheme and make it harder, obviously, harder rain. Modify it to show what you mean. Snow, you need to wiggle. You can do this, I've seen it different ways, but I'll show you three. You can sign it with just wiggling fives down. You can sign the word white first. Or you can do a two-handed white and then wiggle down. So again, white and then wiggle. So again, wiggle without the white. Sign white one-handed, then wiggle. Or sign two-handed white and then wiggle. Any of these are correct. You pick the one you like. The sign tornado is next, two indexes. Puff your cheeks, please. You're circling around when you're doing this. I have seen another one. I'm not sure if it's correct, but I've seen tornado sign this way. I'm really not sure if this is the correct sign. If you find out, please let me know the answer. I sign it with the two indexes this way. For the sign hurricane, you're going to have two open U's, your dominant palm out, thumbs touching together, non-dominant palm in. You're going to wiggle them in circle. The sign tsunami is a large wave. Tsunami. Right, so that wave is coming and ripping it down. The sign beach is much smaller. Those are little waves. Flat out of five. Beach. Now what you need to understand is we do have a lone sign for beach. We tend to see, I tend to see this around areas that have no beaches. Now here where I live, right, we are very near the beach. So I see this sign more often. 
the BCH or BEH finger spelled loan sign I've noticed more in places that don't have a beach. I don't know if this is an accent. I'm not sure if it is just a preference. I really am not sure about that. My theory, again, I don't know if I'm right, but my theory is that if you live near a beach, you tend to see the sign with those waves more often. If you live somewhere inland, like Nebraska or something, that's not near a beach. If you live more inland, I think I see more often that loan sign, that finger spelled loan sign, B-C-H or B-E-H. B-C-H, B-E-H, either way, but honestly, I don't know. I could just be pulling this out of nowhere, but this is my suspicion. I think it has something related to where you live. Why is it signed that way? I don't know. If you know the answer, let me know, please. All right, the next one, let's see. Let us see. We'll see about that. Okay, hand shape, middle finger, tilt your head up, middle finger taps on cheekbone. Like, we will see about that. Uh, let's see. Our last word for part one is light and bright. Light or bright. This sign is used for colors, for a room, for the sun. Generally, this is used for that type of idea. If outside I wanted to say, whew, today, man, it is bright out today. Flat O to five, strong, and sign it fast. You can use this for bright pink as well. If you more mean more of like a light pink, right, a baby pink, it's not strong, it's a lighter color, so you're going to sign this in a lighter way. Flat O to five, do it a little slower. Light pink versus bright pink. Dark, on the other hand, which is the opposite, you're going to have open B's palm facing you, going towards you, squint your eyes, puff your cheeks. Dark. So dark red. Dark green. This room today is, whew, it's kind of dark. Outside there's so many clouds, it really feels dark today. Now, if you wanted to show that concept of light or dark, within your colors, but you don't want to sign the word bright or dark, you can by modifying your facial expression and how you sign that color. For example, whew, that is different than this versus this. Do you see the difference? Again, bright pink, light pink, dark pink. My facial expression is conveying that meaning along with how I sign that color. Right, bright pink, again, versus light pink versus dark pink. You can do this with your different colors. It's up to you how you want to sign that. All right, the first part of our Unit 8 vocabulary list is completed. Our next video will finish with the other half of Unit 8. All right, see you then, my friends.